And we're just gonna start with some general movement and blood flow next. So we're gonna go ahead and go into either a pause march, stand up tall out of the hips, pull one knee up, lift the opposite arm, and then we're gonna switch. If you're looking for something a little bit more dynamic today, you're welcome to jog in place. Otherwise, just work on that stability and balance. Again, lifting up out of the hips and core, lifting the knee and the opposite arm. Very good, looking to hold for like two to three seconds. If your balance is a little bit off, recommend doing this next to a wall for balance or like a chair, something that you can balance check on. Good, go ahead and even that out. Fantastic, from here, we're gonna cross the arms over the chest, stand nice and tall through the torso, slight bend in those knees, and now you're gonna send your hips back, bowing forward, you get a little bit of a stretch in the back of the hamstrings, then stand straight up from there, engage the glutes. We call these good mornings, so hinging forward, and standing tall, very good. Let's go a couple more, hinging forward, engage the glutes. If you happen to have fairly flexible hamstrings and you can go all the way down, you keep going here, just come to about 90 degrees here and then stand from there. All right, very good. Next, we're gonna go into either a jumping jack or a stepping jack. So stepping jack, you simply bring the leg out to the side, arms up to overhead, or you can take that into a standard jumping jack. Nice and light on the feet. Again, if it's not appropriate for you to jump, just stick with the steps. Very good. We're gonna go between 20 and 30 seconds here, increasing the heart rate, getting some good blood flow. If it doesn't work for you to go arms up to overhead, if your shoulders are particularly tired, you can do what we call our seal jack, where you can go arms out to the side. Otherwise, let's go a few more seconds here. Good and rest there. Next, we're gonna go back to waking up those hamstrings. We're gonna place one heel down, toe up, stand tall. You can either go back to arms over the chest or join me with hands behind the head. Bowing forward, sending the hips back, saying hello to the hamstring on the right side. Three to five here. Standing tall, over and down, and up. Good, couple more. And then the hips back long through the spine. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and circle those hips around. We'll go three to five one direction and then we'll switch directions. It's nice and smooth here, kind of waking up through the hips and torso and switch when you're ready. Very good. So if you are with me on that right leg stretch, now we're gonna go ahead and stretch that left. So set your right foot nice and solid, heel down on the left, toe up. Slight bend in that right leg. Here we go, Send in the hips back, bowing forward, standing tall, good job. Long in the spine, stay nice and strong in the core as you hinge over. I'm gonna go upwards of five here. This is number three. And notice I have a slight bend in the support leg, heels firmly planted. One more. And up, fantastic. We're gonna go back to the top. So again, either join me again with that pause march, or you could go like a running high knee, or if you wanna kinda find an in-between, march and punch. The march and punch would be a little bit more heart rate than our pause march. So let's go ahead and keep that heart rate moving, but you can choose what's best for you. Good job, nice smooth breathing, 10 seconds here. Nice work. Lifting the knees, lifting the toes. Good, and rest. Next, you're gonna take a nice wide base stance. So set the feet just outside the hips, slight bend in those knees, long in the spine. We're gonna go arms out to the side. We're gonna reach the right hand towards the left knee. Come on up to standing, left hand towards your right knee. Good job. Back and forth here, hinging over, long in the spine. And look to reach just a little bit lower each time as your flexibility allows. Call me some windmills today. Good, and as you're bending, you wanna be really long, chest tall. You wanna avoid kind of like a rounded position. So send those hips back, wake everything up. Got one more or so. Fantastic, and up from there. All right, from here, we're gonna go back to either those Seal jacks or regular jumping jacks. Or remember we can do them with a step, okay? 
So however you prefer, 30 seconds here. Last little bit of blood flow before we go into some additional stretching and get into the first part of the circuit. Hope you're having some nice weather wherever you are today. Halfway through. Good job. Don't hesitate to take a break and just step or rest total as you need. Fantastic. All right. From here, we're going to check in on that flexibility. So we've been kind of priming our flexibility. Now we want to see where is our length for the day. So we're going to do what's called a Jefferson curl. You're going to have your feet just underneath the hips, toes pointing straight ahead. Stand up nice and tall out of the spine. And then think about kind of setting your hips so that you're nice and neutral. Chin towards the chest. And then nice and slow, we're going to start to round forward, reaching down for the toes, seeing where that bottom position is for you. So I'm staying strong in the core. So if you stop above your ankles, just make note of that. And then as you're ready, start to tuck the hips under, come all the way up to the top, shoulders back. Let's go ahead and reach those arms up to overhead or to your shoulders. And we're gonna rotate the torso, looking over one shoulder, back to neutral, and turn, look over the other shoulder. Good job, twice more here. Rotate, back to neutral, and to the other side. Sets. We feel like we need it. So elevated plank here, forearm plank here, or with the pull through, you have a weight on one side of the body. I'm in my plank. I reach under, grab the weight, and pull it across the other side. And then I switch. So you basically hold on three for a moment while you pull the other side. All right. Glute bridge. All right. Glute bridge, our typical bridge here, or you can elevate the feet and turn it into like a hamstring curl, hips up and down. I'd have my hips a little bit closer, okay? Anyone that can't get down on the ground today, go for a good morning, hinging over and standing. And that third exercise, our get up. So either on the floor or off the couch, lying down, up, you can push off one side, or straight on, if you have the ankle flexibility, it comes straight up, okay? And then just that quick, if you have a couch or if you can't get it down the ground, you can lay here, and that would be your alternative to use an elevated surface. Questions? All right, let's Two, one, here we go. Either regular plank or pull-throughs. We're working for 30. We'll have 15 in between. Holding nice and strong, lifting up to the shoulders. Halfway. Very good. Two, one, and rotate. Either standing good mornings or on your back for the bridge or that hamstring curl. Set the shoulder blades back and down. Two, one, here we go. Drive to the feet, engage the glutes. Don't want any tension in the low back for this. If you do get any kind of pinching, don't go up quite as high and make sure you're squeezing your bum. Breathe. 30 seconds total here. We have five seconds left. Good job, and rotate. Go ahead and extend the legs out. Lay the arms back. If you want to start early, you're welcome to it. We're going to be going for 45 seconds total. Three, two, one. Here we go, into those get-ups. Sitting back. Oh, and then you're welcome to use the arms however you need. Make sure you support strong through the shoulders or if you can come straight up. Fantastic. If you're rolling from one side to the other, make sure you alternate which side you use to kind of get up with. 20 seconds done. It's great to kind of lay back, reach your arms up to overhead, and then as you're starting to lift up, drive those arms forward. 
15 seconds left. Good job, breathing and moving. Five seconds. Two, one, and rest. Good work. We're gonna go back to the plank. All right, 15 seconds. If anyone wants to start early, or feel free. Otherwise, we'll go up in 10 and we'll hold for 30. Either regular plank or the pull throughs. This is two of three rounds. And two, one, here we go. If you're doing those pull throughs, stay as square as you can through the hips and shoulders. Halfway through, that's 15 seconds down. Good job. And three, two, one, and rest. Very good, make your way to your back. And guys, with this group here tonight, we're gonna transition a little bit faster after our glute bridges. We're gonna go right into those get-ups. Three, two, one, here we go. I think we have plenty of recovery on this core work tonight, so we'll just make our intervals a little bit faster. By all means, anyone that needs more rest, just take it. Hips up, engage those glutes. Halfway through. Good job, and two. One, and transition to get up. 45 seconds of get up. Reaching overhead, one side or the other. Nice job. Twenty seconds down. There you go. Moving smooth. Fifteen seconds left. Nice work. Five seconds, and two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right, grab a drink, one more set. We'll go in 20 seconds. If you want to jump into that plank early, get a little bit longer plank, feel free. Otherwise, go in 10. Set three of three. And three, two, one, here we go. Staying smooth, breathing and moving. Good job. Halfway through, 15 seconds to go. Keep lifting up through that mid back. Right up, avoid hiking the hips. Keep the shoulders stacked right over the elbows. Two, one, and onto your back for the bridge. Ready? Begin when you are. 30 seconds here, straight into 45 seconds to get ups. And then we'll be pausing for some stretches. Halfway through. Driving those hips open. Good job. Then two, one, rotate to get up. Lay that flat first, and then make your way up. Good job, 15 seconds down, 30 to go. Nice work. Move it smooth. 15 seconds. 
seconds left. There we go. And three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. Go ahead and grab some water and then let's meet me back on the floor. We're going to stretch the floor back a little bit. And bring that down, knees back to the chest, rock side to side. Then we're going to extend that left leg out, pull the right knee towards the right shoulder, hold here for 15. Feel free to roll that ankle around. And then go ahead and take that into like a hamstring stretch. If you're in the chair, you can sit tall, lean forward, one leg out stretched. You can pull the foot towards your face and point the toe away, moving it back and forth. Good, and then bring the knee back down to the chest and gently bring it across the body. Send that leg out, single leg twist. Look over the same side shoulder. So if you're left stretching your right leg, look over that right shoulder. 20 seconds here. Again, shouldn't be painful, just relaxing. Go ahead and make your way out of that. We're gonna go right leg straight, pull the left knee to the left shoulder. 15 seconds here. Feel free to roll that ankle around a bit and actively push the right thigh down towards the floor. From here, move into that hamstring stretch, extend the leg straight up, point the foot and lift the foot a few times. Hopefully the sweat can keep the mosquitoes away for a second. And then when you're ready, gently bring the leg across the body, single leg twist. Looking over that same side shoulder. So left leg, looking over the left shoulder. Relax the eyes, close and breathe. 10 more seconds. 